<sighs> I'm beat. How's it going, everyone? My name is BQ, and I am freaking beat. Just been so freaking busy with so many other projects. Among other things, I've babbled on for the past year, all day, every single vlog. But more importantly, I've been more exhausted because I'm physically exerting myself. And what I mean by that is I've been exercising quite a bit recently. I always liked exercising quite a bit, especially running. I'm a cross-country runner after all. But actually physically working out, I do feel pretty good about myself when I actually go out and work out. I'm one of those people that really likes the adrenaline after you've kind of pushed yourself past your limit and then after you're done physically exerting yourself, that soreness that you feel immediately after you get done working out and the next day when your body is sore, I love that feeling. I don't know what it is, I guess I'm a masochist? But for the first time, I'm actually dieting for my workouts now. Now, I know what you're thinking. I already look like a stick, I am a skinny boy, why the heck do I need to diet? Well first off, I'd like to say that dieting doesn't exactly mean that you're trying to lose weight. Dieting could mean a strict diet for working out, for bulking up. It could be more dieting for in case you have allergic reaction and you need to, you know, watch what you eat for your diet so you don't die. In my case, I guess you can say that I'm bulking up in a way. I'm not exactly aiming to get bigger, exactly. Um, for a dumb, silly reason, I'm actually working out so I can get abdominal muscles, or known as abs, in uh, everyone's book. Randomly, I thought looking at myself after I just got out of the shower, wonder what I'd look like with abs. So I decided to try to work out and try to obtain abdominal muscles and see what I look like with abs. It's been about a two months since I've started working out uh, specifically muscles for the abdomen and dieting. For about two months, I've eaten nothing but chicken, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, and steel cut oats. That's pretty much been my entire diet. No sugar and no sweetness. Pretty much just protein and a lot of sit-ups and crunches and all that other kind of stuff. So as I continued to work out and start planning out for the future, I remembered that Anime Nebraskan is in November again, which was coming up. And I remember the last time I cosplayed for the last year's Anime Nebraskan, my costume had a jacket and no undershirt for the jacket. So my entire midsection and chest was shown off in the costume. So I thought to myself, well, every kind of nerdy character male that does not have a shirt on is usually pretty buff and for some reason you have these like 12 year old anime guys just like having like a full six packs abs or whatever goddamn reason. Like they, they could be living in a world where they do not need to work out in a super highly advanced society and they still have a six-pack ab? That doesn't make any sense. So working out and looking to the future, I thought, well, why don't I try to strive for that six-pack abs so I can cosplay and actually look a little bit more character accurate, I guess you could say, but it would be pretty cool to actually have a set of muscles that accentuate the costume that I'm wearing and the character that I'm dressing up as actually does have six-pack abs because every goddamn male has six-pack abs, so yeah, I kind of made it hand in hand. Let me just tell you, if you're working out, cosplaying is such a good motivation to continue working out. Dieting itself, for me so far, has not been too much of a challenge. Basically, I've just been eating chicken every single day. It's not too bad. When it first started, the day one I had, I went out uh, with some friends to go hang out. And we went to a restaurant, and my friends ordered beer. A good, cold delicious looking picture of alcohol. I hadn't even started the diet for like a day and I was already just to give it up for that sweet, sweet, delicious beer. I have not broken uh, my diet yet. I have one cheat day, which even that day, I didn't break it as much. It was a cheat day, but I made sure not to go completely overboard. You know, I didn't go, oh, it's cheat day, so I better just go bananas. No, no, I kept it calm. I'm going to Los Angeles in a couple weeks, so that will be kind of a cheat weekend per se, but I'm still gonna mostly watch what I eat and try to refrain from a lot of stuff. But I'll indulge since uh, I'm not in Los Angeles ever, so 
Yeah, I'll have fun with that. Most people that would be on a specific diet would say that they hate it, they, it sucks, it sucks eating the exact same foods every day. For me personally, I guess I'm weird and I don't really mind it. As long as I have good food that I, I enjoy to eat, which the chicken I make, I make it pretty tasty. Uh, I only put like salt, pepper, and some seasoning on the chicken and I just bake it. And I freaking love cottage cheese and Greek yogurt. I'll eat the entire tub of those that you get at the grocery store per day. I just love it so much that I, I, I'm super happy just eating that every single day. So it's not that bad for me in all honesty. Will admit that I am slightly making a mental list of things that I'm excited to eat again once I'm off my diet. Certainly after Anime Nebraska, I am gonna be off that diet and back to pizza and beer. Oh God, I... I really, really want some beer. So if I look like a disheveled mess right now, you know why, because I just got done with working out and uh, yeah, I'm kind of a little bit sweaty, a little bit stinky, but uh, eh, I feel good about myself. Anyways, that was a weird video about what I've been up to recently for, I guess you can consider this one of my projects is my body, I suppose. <laughs> Ugh, I feel so narcissistic saying that, but anyways, yeah, I uh, wanted to, kind of document this experience so I don't forget what I was feeling, what uh, I had to go through, and the challenges I had to face for this diet and for this workout. So that's going to be it for me. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. See you later.